Welcome back to Reading the Decades with me. Today it's all about my bookshelves. I have this big main shelf and two smaller ones. My collection has grown immensely over the past year. This is what this shelf looked like when I got it. I mainly read contemporary and literary fiction, non-fiction and classics. Let's start with the first section, which is all non-fiction, mainly academic texts about literature and the culture of the UK. I have a C.S. Lewis here, an author I really like, and some books about women and female writers in the 60s. And a little notebook. This one here is one of my favourite and most inspiring books, as you can tell from the title. Then we hop over to my penguin shelf, which holds various penguin series like the modern classics, the black spine classics and some of the small editions. Wuthering Heights at the top is another notebook. Then some more penguins from the cloth band edition. My only Pan Macmillan collector's library book. And two of my favourite books, 1984 by George Orwell and The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton in this pretty anniversary edition. Let's hop over to some more penguins from the Penguin English Library. I also have some Penguin Great Ideas books. And then some Alma classics and two other favourites, two German classics. Die Leiden des Jungen Wertes by Goethe and Effie Briest by Theodor Fontana. And another favourite I discovered this year is Das Achte Leben für Brilke or The Eighth Life for Brilke by Nino Haratashvili. The next cube holds all my Beatrix Potter books in various editions, like this designer edition. I also have a little figurine from my favourite tale. Then I have bind ups of the complete stories and behind my flopsy bunny I have a postcard set and some German copies. The next two shelves I tried to colour coordinate. In the front here I have pink and blue books, mainly contemporary fiction and in the back are some hardcovers. I also have this tiny kitten that lives here, kudos to you if you know in which film this kitten makes an appearance. And underneath I have red and yellow paperbacks double stacked again. On the right I have my white paperbacks, again double stacked. Next I have some fantasy. Then I have some more non-fiction and textbooks about literature and language. And this curious read about stationery. The next shelf holds my Oxford World's classics. One is an Effie Breeze translation. Then my vintage classics. A beautiful edition of Mrs. Dalloway, a single Collins classic and a single Signet classic. And in the front I have my Oxford A Very Short Introduction series. The next cube is again double stacked with some non-fiction and even more penguins. One shelf down it's even triple stacked with some literary fiction and my two Wolf Hall books. I still need to read and get the third one. Then I have a pile of books mainly from the 50s and 60s 
and one Dutch book that I started to translate. In the back I have some more literary fiction. Here I have some more C.S. Lewis and books about London. In the back I have hardbacks, mainly literary and experimental fiction which I really enjoy. On the next shelf I have a kaleidoscope. And some more favourites like the Patrick Melrose novels, The Master and Margarita and two more editions of my favourite German classics. I also have my Chi Chin Liu books here which I absolutely loved and enjoyed reading this year. And in the back there's some more contemporary fiction. Now it's time for my hardcovers. I usually like paperbacks better but sometimes I can't wait for the paperback to come out or I find the hardcover for a really good deal. They do take up a lot of space but they also look really pretty. And here are some more hardcovers and all my Stephen King books. Down here in this box I have some German books. The next box only holds stationery and documents so let's go over here where I have some more German books. They are all my favourites. And here's a German copy of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. In the back I have some more German children's literature. The next shelf has some miscellaneous titles and all of my fashion and art books in the back. Let's go up to the top. Here I have some art books and my Instax Mini. This is my beautiful The Famous Five collection and on top of it is another of my favourite books, Le Mis by Victor Hugo. And another favourite, Ulysses by James Joyce. I also have this tiny edition of Romeo and Juliet. Next I have two beautiful wooden postcards that I got recently from Dawn Books. And here's Hermione sitting on even more penguin books. Another wooden postcard, this time from Oxford, and my big book owl, Guarding the Shelf. Let's go over to my other two shelves. One is right behind my reading chair in the corner. On the top I have two more Enid Blyton collections, a Lemire's notebook and a little winter dog. The first shelf holds non-fiction books and right next to it are my Agatha Christie's and some recently accumulated books you might have seen in my book haul videos. The second row is home to a variety of novels, coffee table books and non-fiction. In the back I have some books on writing. And the rest is filled with lots and lots of novels and thrillers. I also store my tripod here. The last shelf holds another mix of books. Here are more books about post-war Britain, lots of mod books, 
This is my Sherlock shelf. And there's also a Doctor Who one. The lower row is home to Agent Mall and Stranger Things, my little comic book collection and some more books about Britain and mod culture. And that's it! Those are all my books and shelves. After filming this tour I put up the Christmas lights. Now everything looks even nicer and so festive and cosy and I can't wait for Christmas to be here. I hope you really enjoy my bookshelf tour as much as I did. It's my first bookshelf tour in a very 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 long time. And I hope to see you next week. Until then, happy reading. Music